praise him with some expectation because today God is going to move. God is going to move in a mighty fashion. And those that came hungry are going to be immersed in that. Oh, Jesus, I want to be in the middle of the move of God today. Lord, I want to feel your presence all over the place from my head to my toes. I want to feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord God, that you would draw the prodigals into this house, uh, the prodigal sons and prodigal daughters. Uh, Lord, that you would bring them into this place, uh, that they would not feel condemnation, uh, that they would not feel eyes of judgment, but God, that they would feel mercy, uh, that they would feel love, that they would feel welcomed, uh, that they would be able to forgive themselves uh, and to receive the forgiveness that you offer, Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus, help us, O oh God, uh, not to hinder the revival uh, and the soul saving of the prodigals, Lord. Uh, but help us, Lord God, to feel your emotions uh, towards those people. Uh, help us, God, to be sensitive, Lord, to what you wish to accomplish uh, and what you wish to do in their lives. Uh, and help us to stay out of the way uh, in the name of Jesus. But, God, uh, I pray for those that came, uh, Lord, that there would be chains, God, uh, in the mind that are broken. Uh, Lord, that there would be problems and infirmities in the body uh, that is healed. Uh, Lord, you are the same God today as you were in the first century. Uh, we believe in you, oh God, for for miracles, signs, and wonders. Uh, Lord, we're believing you for the prophetic. Uh, we're believing you, oh God, for everything uh, that you have promised. We believe in God that demons are going to come out uh, and the Holy Ghost is going to go in. Uh, we believe in God that demons are going to flee uh, and angels are going to rally. Uh, we believe in Lord God uh, that those that are burnt out uh, are going to be on fire again. Uh, we believe in Lord God uh, that you have a plan for this end time church uh, and that we are a part of that plan. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is going to revive somebody in this house today. Uh, your prayer life is looking weak, uh, but in a week it's going to be strong. Uh, hallelujah. Someone's going to commit to a deeper place today. Uh, someone's going to go to the next level in the time to come. Oh, God, I just want to commit to a deeper relationship with you. Uh, Lord, I just want to commit myself, God, to you even the more. Uh, help me to submit my will today uh, in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I'm feeling the Holy Ghost in this house. If you have the Holy Ghost, I want you to do something with me real quick. I want you to put your mind on Jesus. There's people, did you know that there's people in here that don't have the Holy Ghost? We better not hinder them getting the Holy Ghost today. We had better worship. Lord, I magnify you. Lord, I'm going to worship you for what you're going to do for my brother. I'm going to worship you for what I'm going to do for my sister. I'm going to worship you because you're faithful. I'm going to worship you because you're the same. You are consistent, the same yesterday, today, and forever, God, I praise you. Lord, I worship you. Oh, God, I just want to dance to you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I worship you, God. You set me free from bondage. You set me free from darkness, depression, oh, suicide. You set me free from hating myself. And now I think there's no other way. Now. I love life more than I ever could because you, God, have given me life uh, and life more abundantly, Jesus. Woo, oh, hallelujah, there's no other way for me. I don't know about you, but there is no other way for me. Hallelujah. I don't care if I stumble uh, and make a mistake uh, because he is there uh, to give me grace and help in time of need. Oh, I worship you. Lord, I magnify your name, Jesus. Uh, Lord, you are holy. You are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, God, yes, God, yes. Lord, we just speak the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. There is no other name given to men under heaven whereby we must be saved. Hallelujah. Lord God, let the waters of baptism be stirred up today. Lord, let the Holy Ghost fall like the day of Pentecost in the name of Jesus. Lord, let a revelation of the oneness of God, the mighty God in Christ, enter the mind and the heart of someone today. Woo, yeah, the fire is growing. Uh, the fire is growing. Uh, can you throw a log of worship on that fire? Hallelujah. Can you contribute to this? Uh, oh, God. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're mighty God. 
Lord, I offer myself to you. Lord, I worship you. I magnify you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I don't have much to give you, Lord, but what I do have, I want to give it to you right now. Lord, the things that I do have, I want to give it to you. Lord, you can have my heart. Lord, you can have my alabaster box. Lord, you can have my hidden places. Lord, you can have my idols. Lord God, you can have my sin. Lord God, you can have my soul. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. For our God is a consuming fire. Lord, burn it up today in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume us all in the name of Jesus. Lord, let revelation flow and bondage break. Lord God, Isaiah says that the anointing will break the yoke. Lord God, let the yokes be broken in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bind every spirit that would try to come against this service, uh, and we declare that those devils keep their mouths shut in the name of Jesus. Uh, help us, God, to think on that thing which is pure, uh, which is holy, uh, which is right in the name of Jesus. Oh, we worship you. Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the praise. Your name is holy. You are righteous. You are good indeed. There is no other way for me. He that his son has set free uh, is free indeed. Uh, if you've been baptized in Jesus' name, baby, you got some freedom. Uh, if you've been filled with the Holy Ghost, uh, you've got some freedom. Hallelujah. You got the freedom to dance. You got the freedom to praise. You got the freedom to jump. You got the freedom to shout. Uh, you got the freedom to clap. Uh, and you ought to use that freedom because the Lord is here. Oh, Jesus, we give you our praise. Lord God, we give you our worship. You are worthy. You are worthy. Lord, restore that which has fallen away. Lord, restore. We pray, God, restoration in the name of Jesus. God, we pray healing in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that you would re-engraft that which has fallen from the tree in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Can we all clap our hands unto the Lord? Hallelujah, sound the trumpet of praise, somebody. Hallelujah, shake, shake the tambourines a little bit. Hallelujah, stomp your feet a little bit because Jesus is in this house. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the one that comes. In the name of the Lord, Jesus, we worship you. Lord, we worship you and we praise you, God. Oh, you're faithful, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, in the darkest times that we have ever faced as a church, uh, oh, God, you are helping us to shine brighter uh, than ever before. Uh, in the darkest time, uh, your spirit is moving uh, more powerfully than ever before. Uh, God, help us to jump into the moving of your spirit. Uh, help us, oh, God, not to be uh, the one that regrets their decision. But help us, God, today to respond to your spirit because we may not get a second chance. Oh, hallelujah. Can we just worship? Oh, Jesus. Lord, I want to respond to you today. I want to give you my all today. Oh, I want to honor the call of God today on my life. Who wants to honor the call of God today on their life? Hallelujah, Jesus. I worship you. Hallelujah. Can you clap your hands unto the Lord as the singers come to the stage? Let's get ready to worship our God.
we give you the praise today, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for being more than enough for us, Lord God. Lord Jesus, when I came to you, Lord God, I wasn't satisfied, Lord God. When I, Lord, read books, Lord God, for satisfaction, Satisfaction, Lord God, I wasn't satisfied. But when I came to you, Lord God, I was satisfied, Lord God. I had peace in the house of the Lord. I had joy in the house of the Lord. Jesus.
place that your spirit would saturate your people this day. In the name of Jesus, we give you all, God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Things change in an atmosphere like this. When we entertain his spirit, he can do mighty things, church. Just close your eyes. Feel what I'm feeling. He's here with us this morning. And in an atmosphere like this, miracles and wonders can happen. Oh, thank you, Jesus.
Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we just lift our hands around this place? There's something moving in here right now. There's a shift taking place in the house right now. I wonder if somebody could just lift their hands and begin to shout and begin to pray right where you are. Hallelujah. I believe chains are being broken in our midst right now in the name of Jesus. I believe the walls are falling down in our midst in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Move, oh God. Bless him be your name, mighty Lord. Bless him be your name, mighty Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless him be your name, mighty God. Bless him be your name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, mighty God, you are worthy, Jesus. I will tell you, friends, right now, there's a stirring and a shifting in the atmosphere. And today, I believe that we will leave different than when we came in. As we go before the Lord in prayer, even right now, and we continue in this vein, we have some requests we want to pray over. And if you have a need, we'd invite you to come on down. We want to pray over Sister Linda and some traveling mercies. Brother Sergio needs a healing touch. We know the healer, amen. Many are still dealing with sickness, but we know whose stripes they are healed by, amen. And it's going to happen. We want to pray for the podcast that we're about to start. Listen, our, our mind is bigger than just Port Charlotte. Our mind is bigger than just Florida. Our mind is bigger than what can be contained within this room. And we want to pray that people all over this world are reached to what will be taught on that podcast. We want to pray in, in, in regards to that to every minister that will be ministering on that podcast as well. That they would hear the voice and the heartbeat of God as they prepare. Let's go before the Lord in prayer right now. If you have a need, please come forward. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in this place right now, oh God. We thank you for your spirit, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for your word, oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for the spirit of worship that is evident in this place right now. We thank you, Lord, for sensitive hearts. We thank you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, for the chains that have already been broken here, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for those that have already received a touch. But, oh, Lord, I pray that you continue to move, continue to touch. We pray, oh, Lord, for Sister Linda in safe travels, Lord God. Keep your hand upon her as she travels, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, guide her safely, Lord God. We pray, oh, Lord, over Brother Sergio and all those that are dealing with sickness right now, Lord God. That you would touch, oh, Lord. I pray, oh, Lord, that healing virtue begin to flow to their bodies, oh, God. By your stripes, they are already healed. And we claim it in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray over the podcast, Lord Jesus. Timely words of hope. I pray, oh God, over every minister that will be teaching, oh Lord. I pray, oh Lord, that your anointing will be upon it, Lord God. I pray, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that souls all over this world, oh God, would be touched, oh Lord. Lives all over this world, oh God, would be changed. Oh God, by your word, Lord Jesus, that will go forth, Lord God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would move through it, Lord. That you would anoint it, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray, oh God, for those that are continuing to pray in this altar now. God, continue to move. Continue to touch, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch Brother Leon right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Minister to my brother, Lord God. Whatever they need, Lord, you already know. We pray, oh God, manifest and have your way, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, Lord for the stirring, oh Lord, for the shifting that is taking place right now in this house, oh Lord. 
I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing, for your move, for your touch, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, mighty God. Blessed be your name, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I thank you, Lord, for a deeper commitment to prayer, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, for a deeper commitment to your word, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for those, oh Lord, that are committed to getting deeper in their walk with you. Those, oh Lord, that are committed, oh Lord, to creating an atmosphere where your spirit can move, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you the glory and the honor, Lord, for you alone are worthy, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Touch our kids, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Minister to them, Lord God. Touch, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's all reach our hands out right here, right up front to where this sister is playing. Praying, let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus right now, Lord. You know the need, oh God. We pray, Lord, that your touch, oh Lord, come down upon her, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Minister, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, touch her, Lord. Touch her, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Touch hell right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Hallelujah. Minister to him, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, mighty God. Hallelujah, mighty Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed be your name, mighty God. Blessed be your name, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch your own Lord right now in the name of Jesus. Minister, mighty God. Right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, Lord, for you are worthy, Jesus. Blessed be your name, mighty God. Blessed be your name, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's put our hands together and give the Lord a hand clap of praise in this place. Hallelujah. Woo. We're going to have some church today, friends. Amen. I'm thankful for what God is doing and for what he's going to do. And we want to go before the Lord, continue in worship with our giving. Amen. When we give, God gives back. Press down, shaking together, and running over. You cannot outgive him, and you cannot. You cannot just expect benefits of money, but blessings in your life and your heart being changed and your mind being transformed are some of the greatest blessings that I have ever received from the Lord. Amen. And we're going to pray over the offering as, before we come. And I just want God to touch each of us today as we give and let us hear from God. If the Lord's telling us, hey, give a little bit more today, go ahead and stretch out and do it by faith because it is by faith that your mountains will be moved, amen? Lord Jesus, we thank you right now, Lord, for the opportunity to give of our first fruits, oh Lord, into your kingdom, oh God, to sow seeds of the gospel, oh Lord, all over this area, Lord God. And I pray, oh God, that you would reach down and touch every hand and stretch us forth to give, Lord, abundantly, Lord God. Provide for the needs of this assembly. Provide for the needs of your people, oh God. We give you all the glory and all the honor. And everybody said in Jesus' name. You may bring your offering and put it in the boxes as we decree together. Speak with me. Job 22 and 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing 
and it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways, upon the authority of your word I have given, and it shall be given to me. Press down, shaking together, and running over. I bring my tithe and offering into your storehouse. Therefore the enemy is rebuked, and the curse is broken. I live under an open heaven. You pour out upon me such a blessing that there is not enough room to receive it. We receive jobs, better jobs, and promotions, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, benefits and settlements, bills and debts paid off, estates and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, bills paid off, debts demolished, and royalties received. My whole family saved in walking with God in abundant life, divine favor, and blessing. Perfect health in the, in abundance to walk in divine favor and blessing. I am blessed coming in. I am blessed going out. And all that I do will prosper. In Jesus' name, clap your hands unto the Lord as you're making your way back and sit down. seated today. A couple of announcements. Before we even get to those, I just want to welcome everyone here. If you're a first-time guest in this house today, we are so glad you're here. We are so glad that you found a place called Hope today. Amen. We, we love you. We welcome you. And welcome to the family. Amen. And we are family here. A couple of announcements. The homeschool co-op tomorrow at 9 a.m. I knew I'd hear from the kids there. Um, there's no PM service tonight. I want to remember the men's conference coming up March 31st and April 1st. Sign up online. The info sheets are in the lobby. One more seat on the van. So if, you, if you're that lucky one, you better get on it. <laughs> uh, the God Ego book discussion with Sister Dagan will be happening Wednesday at 6 p.m. before service. Saturday hyphen activity, see the Nielsen's. And before Pastor comes, I just want to say something. You know, I've been honored to know Pastor and Sister Dagan for 13 years of the 20 years that this church has been out there. I remember the first building, the storefront, the first time I ever preached at the Pentecostals of Englewood. And I remember seeing it grow. I remember seeing, seeing people come and go. But I can tell you something about Pastor and Sister Dagan over the 20, over the 13 years I've known them. They are stable. They are stable folks. They do not waver. They do not falter down. It's by the book. And I appreciate the man of God, the friend, the pastor that they are to me and my family. I am so thankful. My son has been baptized here. My daughter was baptized in the last building. My wife and I were so privileged to have Pastor Dagan perform our wedding. And I just can't let this go, Pastor Dagan. I'm sorry to take up extra time. But I just want to say thank you, and we love you, and we give you all the honor for everything that you do for this community. And we thank God for a man of God that stands by the word and won't falter from it. And I pray that you keep on, keep it on for the next 20 years, Pastor Dagan. Why don't you clap your hands and let's give that to Jesus. We give all that praise to Jesus. God bless you. You may be seated. And, and we do it with God's help first and foremost, giving him all the glory and the honor. And then me and my wife, it's like, as I have said many times over, Quill and Priscilla, we view it as team ministry. And, and I could not imagine going forth in the ministry having to drag a spouse. If anything is true at times, she's the one encouraging me, pushing me along. And, um, but, but we do good together, and we're so thankful for that. And, and then the good, gracious people of God through the years, prayerful, hardworking, kind people. And, and Pastor Foster, when we came from Louisiana, said in building a church, literally starting with your family, he and my wife and my young son, Zachary, at that point, moved down here with the blessings of the Louisiana District Board, the Florida District Board, and started the church in our living room. My pastor said, there will be many people that come like scaffolding. And they will be here for a moment or a season to help you build something, a layer or whatever. And then God will move them on. God will move them on. 
different states and different jobs or whatever the situation is, and we have seen that. Florida is a very transient city, community, state, and some have come and helped us. It's been a great blessing. Some have gone. And we're so thankful for the people that are here today and people that we've been able to impact through the years by the grace of God. The earliest of days in the storefront, Brother Shane shared a good testimony. Thank you, sir. Sister Crystal was one of the first ones in the storefront. Right back here. Wave your hand, Sister Crystal. And then Brother and Sister Ryder very early. Wave your hand, Brother and Sister Ryder very early in the storefront. And then Brother Gerald praying for his sickness. And then God just added to the church daily, weekly, since you should be saved. And we're so very thankful. And, and then to have Brother and Sister Hasselbrock with us today, the great bishop and his wife from Sarasota. We're so thankful for them. We honor them. We love them. Appreciate the good work Brother and Sister Slotsman's doing there now uh, and following them and building upon their work. And, and then God gives the increase. And then Brother Louie has labored this week. Thank you, Sister Jackie, for sacrificing time. He has labored this week to put together about a seven-minute video. Um, it'll start. It's 20 seconds in which it's quiet or so. It really is playing, but it just takes about 20, 22 seconds for it to begin with the sound. So he's labored, and I mean labored, to put it together. He went back to the archives of social media and otherwise, and, and he's done an excellent job. And if something was left out that you wanted in there, blame it on me. It's my fault. It's not his. Why don't you say, God bless Brother Louie? And Brother Louie, if you'll play that video, thank you, Brother William, Brother Jody, for hitting those lights. We'll come right back after this video. Take away the melody Take away the songs I sing Take away all the lies And all the songs you let me write Does the man I am today Say See
Clap our hands one more time and give it all to Jesus. Can we do that? Thank you, Lord God, for your grace. Thank you for the faithfulness of your people, God. Thank you for the labors of your people. Thank you again, Brother Louie. That means so very, very much that you spent the time to do that. And, and um, I'm so very thankful for what he's done. About 20 years ago, we loaded up in the U-Haul at $1,000 in the call of God. And God spoke to us in a prayer meeting because of the times and told us to come to this part of Florida and start a church. We had never been here. We knew nobody here. And God helped us. We came with the blessing of our pastor. And, man, that was a couple of times even driving that U-Haul down here, coming through that mobile tunnel, just coming out of it, pouring down rain. The windshield wiper blade blew off. And I literally, I'm driving the U-Haul with one hand. Zachary's over and says, yeah, this is fun, Dad. Woo-hoo. And I put a towel, I tie a towel onto the wiper blade so I can see. I said, maybe I just need to turn around. This is a sign. <laughs> I remember probably three and a half years after we started in the storefront, I sent an email to the then superintendent, CPAT Williams, an elder voice, very kind friend and an elder to me through the years and now even. I said, I've been offered a, another job with Caterpillar in Louisiana, making a lot of money. Worked for Caterpillar for 20 years, eight years in Louisiana, 13 plus years here. I said, I also, at the t- same time, I was contacted about taking a church over in Louisiana, South Louisiana, where our family's at. I'm praying about leaving. I don't know that I'm going to stay. His response changed my outlook. He said, Brother Daniel, I love you. I'm praying for you. You're a man of God. We're in your corner no matter what you do. I think if he would have dropped a hammer on me, I probably would have left angry and bitter. But he handled me with such grace. So thankful for the love and the tender mercy of God through the years. On the way, we all want to throw in the towel, give up for music ministry, youth ministry, pastor, whatever it is. Face that along the way. But the 
grace and mercy of God and God's good faithful people. And he's brought us now from a living room to a 15 by 15 foot room in a rec center to the storefront, to the building in Inglewood that we own that we sold to this one. And now, four and a half years later, we're actively pursuing selling this building for the reasons why you're aware of today. And God's going to bless us with the next one. Why don't you stand with me, clap your hands, and give the praise to Jesus. Can you do that? Alex, get a water and put it right here. And then we're so thankful today to have Bishop James and Sister Naomi Varnum, the bishops, the overseers of the great work of God, Souls Harbor in Bellevue, and just so many things could be said about the family and the great work of God that God has done there. They have, from a distance, been instrumental in our life and the work of God here. And then the last few years, we've been privileged to get a little bit closer. And, and it's so refreshing when you see somebody from a distance and they're one thing. And then you get a little bit closer and it's even better than what you saw from a distance. And I say that carefully, giving God the praise. These are those people I celebrate that they're great Christians and all that God has done with them and through them and their family. Clap your hands and welcome the bishop as he comes. The Florida District United Pentecostal Church Secretary, Bishop James Vaughn. You may be seated. God bless you. We are very delighted to be here. And um, we had a little, some time to spend with Pastor and Sister Degan yesterday. And they showed us also some pictures of what was a few months ago in the way of the storm. And I can see that um, what a beautiful thing God has brought out of all of it. I congratulate Brother and Sister Degan and their family on and you at, you have this church on 20 years of steadfastness and faithfulness and prayer and all that goes with building the church. I congratulate you on this 20th anniversary. I bless you. I'm so glad he stuck with it. He's a, um, Brother Dagan, certainly, indeed, I consider him a dear friend. And my wife and I consider he and his wife and their family, very precious to us. And uh, we see, we see uh, his family, his boys, and a lot, at, especially at the camp, different things at the campground. And I'm so glad to be here with you all. I want my wife to come and just say a few words. And uh, she... Told my children all their lives. I said, "You ought to be glad I married her, because you wouldn't have had much fun if it was just me and somebody else." <laughs> yeah, he says that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Where's that drummer girl? <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Glory! Yeah. I looked over there and seen that drummer, then said, that is a girl. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> do what you got to do. Just do what you got to do. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah, oh my goodness, I can tell. She's wonderful. Um. I, I want to thank you for the nice hotel. I mean, they got the best hotel and the suite, and and it's more than we deserve, but thank you for it. We like that room. <laughs> and the snacks, and they called, and they got exactly what I, I wanted, water, water, and she got me a whole case, so thank God. <laughs> and we had a wonderful dinner. She sent us home with rolls and we ate them <laughs> uh, it's terrible i've been trying to lose weight and 
I just said, forget this losing weight. <laughs> 20 years, you can retire. You can retire. N but, but a preacher never retires. Preacher's <laughs> wife never retires. And these are some of the most giving people I have ever met. There is no job like pastoring. When you pastor, you get to know people. You teach them Bible studies. You're in their homes maybe for a couple of months teaching. And then, then you watch them as they get the truth and then they get baptized and they get the Holy Ghost. And there's no job as wonderful as pastoring. And there's no job as hurtful as pastoring. I'm sorry to say, but you've still got to stay with it. And you've got to look forward. You can't look behind. Whoever wants to be saved, they're going to be saved. And you just got to go on. My mom used to say, and, and I want to say I'm thankful to see the Hasselbrocks here. And, and also, all you people that have got, got white hair, you know, you didn't just get born with that. And so you've been in this for a long time. And, and I don't know really how long, but you know how long. And my mother got the Holy Ghost in 1929. She was about 19 years old. She had three little girls. She lived in a little shanty. My daddy, he did... Uh, field cropping for people and he'd go out to work and she didn't have anything to read but a bible she was raised church of christ and you know church of christ didn't receive the holy ghost but she kept reading in the new testament about the holy ghost she just kept reading and kept reading and she she read that bible for about a year and after after she had read that, she started praying, Lord, if the Holy Ghost is real, and if it's for me, give it to me at home and make a believer out of my husband. My, hu my, my father was a, a, a Baptist. He was a, he, I can't say it was a great man. He was a good man, I guess. He, he just made whiskey on the side. To, <laughs> and... He did not like Pentecost. He didn't like it. In, in fact, his, him and his, his cousins and brothers used to go around brush arbors shooting up in the air laughing at the people. Isn't that terrible? Yeah. And, but God got a hold of him, and that's a long story, and I'll tell you some other time. But my mother got the Holy Ghost in 1929. When dad went to work that morning, she started reading. She just so happened to be reading when the day of Pentecost was fully come and the Holy Ghost fell on her. The Bible slid out of her lap and she jumped up and started shouting and speaking in tongues and she was she was beside herself for hours. And and the girls were just playing around her. And she knew my dad was coming home to get a late lunch. And she started thinking, I've got to get my mind. I've got to get my mind back on, on lunch. I've got to get him something fixed. But she was so, it changed her life. It changed my life. It changed all of my brothers and sisters' life. Just that change of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is real. The Holy Ghost is right. Every. Everybody that is hungry, they are hungry for the Holy Ghost. You know, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But for years, you may be seated for years. For years, when I'd see people like tattooed out of the wild and pierced all, all over, I'd say, oh, they're so hungry for God. That's what I'd say. I wouldn't think, oh, my goodness, they're full of the devil. 
they're from the devil. No. I thought, oh, my God, we've got to get this gospel to them. We've got to spread it to them. We've got to tell them. But I said all that to say this. My mother used to say, Naomi, I I was her 14th child. I know that's a lot of kids. But, but back then, people had kids, and they were workers. So they all worked the field. So that was good. But my mom used to say, Naomi, you need to pray through. And when she'd say that, I knew what she meant. I mean, she did, and she'd tell me again, Naomi, your attitude, you need to pray through. And I was, I, you know, I'd, I'd go in, and I'd say, oh, God, help me, help me. But I knew I had to pray through until you get the Holy Ghost again, until you're refilled again. Now, I'm sorry, my husband, we're all getting old. You know, I'm getting so old, it makes me aggravated. But when, when, he started talking about us coming down here a couple of months ago. That song jumped in my heart that said, Me and the devil, we had a tussle, but I won. And that's the kind of attitude you have got to have. The devil's going to put all kind of things on you. He's going to come up against you. He's going to fight you so that you won't come to the church of God. But you need to push those things off. You need to. Yeah. And you need to push through until you are victorious. And just remember, everything that comes on you is not a sickness. I mean, I can't tell you in the last five years how many things have come on me. And, you know, at first I'd say, oh, my goodness, I better go get checked out. And then I'd say, you know what? I mean, after I got checked out, yeah, then then I'd say, you may be seated. Then I'd say, the devil's trying to put this on me. I refuse to have that. I refuse to have that. I mean, you just get, get strong against the devil. Kick up against the devil. Don't let him put anything on you. <laughs> Woo! You can go to your grave without having any of the things that they had. You know, just remember, Moses, I believe it was, he, he didn't have, uh, he, he had his good eyesight, His hands wasn't shaky. All those things I've had problems with. But I just said, devil, I am not taking it. And you know what? They just went away. God bless you. God bless the Dakins. Come on, honey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, glory. You may be seated again. What a delight to be here. What a wonderful presence of the Lord is in this house. Thank the Lord Jesus. Um, it's, a, um, it's a thrill to be in the presence of God. I also want to give my respect to Brother and Sister Hasselbrock. Appreciate you all and love you and always have. And, uh, and the others that I have known through the years here, God bless you. And... Um, just as I go into my message, thank God for Brother and Sister Dagan. And you, you have worked together to have a very nice 20th anniversary. God bless you. I'm going to uh, start out today from the book of Job. And the book of Job can be considered a pretty tough book to read. 
Um, there's no saying that says, <clears throat> they just say you have to have the patience of Job to get through this. And I don't know who wants to have that much patience. <laughs> he went through a lot. <clears throat> um, every, every moment I'm standing here and everything I see, I want to say something about, so pray that I don't go down all them rabbit trails. But they would all be good. They would all be good. Job chapter 36, 27. The Lord does this. He maketh the small drops of water. They pour down rain. According to the vapor thereof. Verse 28. Which the clouds do drop and distill upon man abundantly. Everybody say abundantly. Everybody say pour down rain. Now we can change those words a little bit and just say downpour. God bless you. That's what I'm going to preach on today. You may be seated. I want to minister to you on the downpour that causes an uproar. <laughs> This scripture is telling us about a little bit about our uh, ecology and about our atmosphere, about weather. And most of us learned this in fairly early on in school that unbeknownst to us, while we're just going about our life every day, there's moisture going up. And we don't see it. We don't know it's really even happening as we go about our day, but I noticed today there's a few clouds, yes, sir. and a little further north up where I'm at, it was, it's supposed to be pouring up there, we'll see, And but we don't know it's happening until it begins to pull together, but these small drops of water, like a vapor, they begin to collect, and they get more and more added and more compounded. They get heavier and heavier until eventually you can actually see it because it becomes a cloud. And then that cloud begins to work within itself. And in Florida, we can know. They say, if you don't like the weather, just wait a minute. It'll change. But it, it can change quick. But, but we just go about our day. And, and there's vapor going up the whole time. And maybe people don't pay much attention to that. But maybe it's when it starts pouring that they say, oh, wow, it's raining. <laughs> but now I'm from the country, and when, when we talk about a hard rain in the country, uh, we used to also call it a gully washer. And... Um, because the rain come down and so hard that it just poured off of the surfaces that were more high down into the gutter or gully. Yes, sir. And washing, wow, what a way to purge the earth. It's just a good rain, wash it away. And um, down this way, I'm sure you don't want to hear about rain or water, <laughs> but uh, we're going to spiritualize this before I'm done. Yes, sir. <laughs> But uh, it is important that we understand uh, what is happening. Uh, the word vapor there comes from a word that just means it's to rake together or to gather, a vapor to gather. And then as it comes together, it creates rain. Now, there's a lot of things we do, we've done right here in this service today, that we, you do every service, no doubt. And there's a lot of things you do during your daily life that you've been doing for a long time. Some of you maybe not as long as others. But you see, I can tell this church is a praying church. Yes. You folks know how to pray. Your pastor and his wife, their family, I know that they're praying people. Uh, I just love their spirit. Brother and sister 
Dagon and their prayer life, I can tell they walk with God. But I know that you have been praying. Yes, sir. I know that you may have been praying in ways that wasn't as boisterous as someone else. But there's prayers. And these prayers are going, they're not just laying on the floor. We don't leave them on the floor. They, they really don't just bounce against the wall. And I've heard people say it. We prayed and it felt like the, you know, the ceiling was, was brass and they just couldn't get their prayer over. But the fact is, we know that's not so. When we pray in faith, believing and asking in the name of Jesus, they reach the throne of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to assure you that your prayers are not in vain. When you feel strong and you feel like praying strong prayers, your prayer is not in vain. And when you feel and when you feel weak and you feel like you can hardly pray, maybe sickness or just discouragement or a dark time in your life, your prayers are still being heard by the same God who never changes, who is almighty, all powerful. And he receives those prayers. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. And then when we come together, and even sometimes in private, those prayers will just go from that, that point and begin to burst out in praises. We just begin to praise the Lord. And we begin to thank the Lord because he has been good. Whatever we've been through, he, or he has brought us out or he will bring you out. But God is worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. We send up praises, and he gathers those praises. And maybe a little deeper, some difference between praise and worship. But worship, as we send it up to God, he hears and he answers prayer, and he responds to praises even so much that the angel of the Lord encamps around about them that fear him. And he dwells in the midst of the praises of God's people. Hallelujah. And these things begin to gather together until they make raindrops. And then they pour down from the sky. Now, I mentioned it to Pastor Dagan yesterday. I said, well... Hopefully, we've had our 100-year bad hurricane, and we'll have another 100 years. I know the further south we go, the more often there's hurricanes, but this part, not quite like this one. But, we're, but you see, I have some good things to say about it. I feel like the Lord gave me some good things to say. You know, during the time and since the hurricane, which it hit on September 28th of 22, the mother church right here, and with all of the ministries and the outreaches and all the things that have done, many have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Many have been filled with the Holy Ghost. So many have been renewed, even as I believe some have been renewed in this place this morning. I had some opportunities to be Maybe see, I had an opportunity. I had some opportunities to be uh, with Brother Billy Cole on a few trips, and uh, he used to. Now he he believed that rain showers was a sign of God's blessing, but he somehow could separate the actual rain from the air, because he believed turbulent air meant that the devil was mad. Not just that he was mad, because but he was afraid of what was about to happen because you have come to town. Because you are on your knees praying. Hallelujah. One line that I picked up from Sister Vesta Mangan uh, Friday night over in Apopka. She, she's 98 years old. We, we, we do get old. And I, I hope I'm as clear as she is when I'm that old, but but you can tell that age is taking its time. But one line that stuck with me, she said, when you go to your knees, that's when God stands up. And I just held on to that because God is paying attention when we're praying. 
You may feel like you've paid, prayed the most pitiful prayer, but my God loves you, and my Lord believes in you, and my God answers prayer. Woo! Come on, let's praise him a little bit more. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now, the Bible calls Satan the prince and power of the air. And as Brother Billy Cole could do, he separated the, 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 the rain from the air. And the fact is, if all we had was rain and we were trying to breathe rain, that would not give us life. There is a separation between the prince and power of the air or the air and then rain or water. A big difference. And, and since the enemy is called the prince of power of the air, then there can be storms that come, but it doesn't mean that God is angry. There can be storms that come, but it doesn't mean that God put it on us. Spiritually in our lives, there can be some very turbulent situations in our home, in our marriage, in our finances, in our soul, in our walk with God. There can be some storms come our way, and the prince and power of the air may make you feel like that you are being ripped apart. But God sends showers of blessings. God, don't forget that we just need a few more blessings to make it through. Hallelujah. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. A uh, couple of personal testimonies through the years. I know this is a through the year a special anniversary celebration. Um, when I started pastoring in Bellevue 51 years ago, there was um, the little church. I thank God for it. But as you can see in these slides, you know, you, you keep having to get larger places. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as God blesses and as the Lord ble uh, contributes to his word being preached and saves people. We were on a little road called Bab Avenue in Bellevue, completely across town. And as always in those days, right by some railroad tracks, it seemed like a lot of places were just across the tracks. And, but um, I don't know how often, how maybe even how long it's been. Probably been a long time for y'all, especially since September 28th, since you prayed for rain. But you know, we're further we're a little further up, but this is also back in the around in the nineteen seventies. We hadn't had any rain in Bellevue for a long time. It went two or three months, I'm pretty sure. For some reason it was un, it was unusually dry. Now we had the you know, good old elders in the church. I was just young, young. And we had elders in the church that just, they just felt like that a water hose or a sprinkler just wasn't going to do the job like a good rain will. And that's probably so in some ways. But when they wanted some water in, they, they believed in praying for rain when you need it. And just because you've got a bunch of water, it don't mean you're not going to need more rain to keep things alive as you go forward, right? And so... So we hadn't had any rain in a long time. So in, in, that, in those days, they would actually make a prayer request. I, I really can't remember the last time I heard a prayer request in Bellevue. Somebody say, can we pray that God will let it rain? And I don't know when's the last time that anybody is, in this church has heard anybody say, can we pray for some rain? <laughs> Amen. But in those days, that was a matter of prayer. People would actually st stay, stand up in church and you know, when it was a prayer request time back then, we actually did verbal prayer requests. Yeah. And, and can, we, can we pray that God will let it rain? Well, one night we took that very serious. It was The drought was getting worse. And so we began to pray. And the church began to pray. And we began to pray, and then the Holy Ghost swept in there. 
And we begin to shout. People begin to dance in the Holy Ghost. And people begin to speak in tongues. The Holy Ghost just got stronger and stronger inside there. And within just a 15, 20 minutes of us starting to pray about rain, one of the ushers or somebody went outside, one of the men ran outside, came back in soaking wet and said, Folks, it's pouring down rain outside. <laughs> now, when you hadn't had rain for that long and there wasn't any clouds in the sky when we went into the church house, that has to be an answer from God. But you see, you talking about a downpour that caused an uproar? When they came back in and said, it's raining outside, then we really started shouting much greater. We started praising God much greater. People started receiving the Holy Ghost, and people started being healed. Hallelujah. There is a downpour from heaven that can cause an uproar in the church and in our communities. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. We, for many years, did an Easter play in Bellevue, Passion Play, some people call it. But we, we have an amphitheater back behind the church. It's on some back property, and it's there was a big mound of dirt, which is a little bit unusual in our part of Florida. But it goes up pretty high because... On the other side of the fence from where our property was, all of it used to be owned by the same man, and it was a lime rock pit. To get to the lime rock, and especially the good stuff, they had to push what they used to call the overburden off the top. They had to push a lot of stuff off, and it just so happened that it was all pushed over on what we, many years later, would buy for our church property. It was back there on the back of the property, had, had trees this big growing up in it. It had been there so long. And uh, after some time, we had some men in the church that got a hold of some earth-moving equipment, bulldozers, and even some actual what we call earth movers. And they got in there, and they began to shave that hill. They shaved one point where it was down maybe a little bit higher than this platform, not much more. Then they, then they went up a little bit up the hill, and they shaved another flat place up there, which gave us an upper part, and then there was the top of the hill. And we did, we did for many years, Easter plays up there because that made the perfect amphitheater. And uh, the, the, the dirt they took off of that, they put out there in the audience and made it kind of slope up like an amphitheater would be. And uh, we used that for Easter play, and it was a huge uh, guest reception for us. I mean, we, we reached so many people through that Easter play every year. We would, did it, we would do it multiple times. And so one night, people would come and they'd, God would just bless. And I love it to see all the activities on this thing. You know, we, we didn't have much money. And we just, but we just, we were not afraid to do it anyway. Yeah. We didn't have the latest technology, but we weren't afraid just to do it anyway. And I want to encourage everybody to know that you don't have to have, like, somebody that's been, you know, practicing this for, for 50 or years or so to, to be able to do your own plays. I see that you don't wait. Don't ever stop waiting. Don't ever start waiting. Don't wait. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we use what we got, God will work in it and work through it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we have to get young people involved. We have to get different ones in the church involved. We, have to, we need the helpers and the people that work hard to make special activities happen. There's, I understand there's going to be picnic and different activities after this service. Somebody's been working hard to make that happen. God bless you. And that's some of that vapor that's going up, that labor and that effort and those that, that you put into the things that the church is trying to do. Well, we were trying to do something back there, and we've been doing it for a few years. And so we had a big, huge sound system. We had a, um, a soundtrack, digital soundtrack board. We had, of course, 
big mixers. I mean, you could hear us. Some people could literally said they could hear us miles away. We we tried to warn our neighbors every year. Most of them end up coming out and watching it. But we reached a lot of people. One year, <clears throat> we had everything set up, ready to go. Everybody practiced, worked hard. A lot of work just setting up all that equipment. And um, a lot of special effects that had been set and ready to go. And so people started pulling in and said, folks, we need to cover all this up and get all this equipment out of here. It's right there where I pulled in the church parking lot. It's pouring down rain right there at the highway. And then somebody would come from, the, that would be the south, somebody would come from the north. You know, I just came in from the other way. And you know what? It's pouring down rain. Y'all need to get this stuff out of here. And then uh, from the east and the west, people were coming in from all over saying, you better move this stuff out of here. And so we started covering things up. And we started preparing a lot of men to be ready to throw that stuff in a van, at least keep it from getting wet, with a, you know, an empty van with the seats out. So we were, we were preparing for that. A 16-year-old boy that was the drum player, a 16-year-old boy walked out on that stage and asked for a microphone. And that 16-year-old boy said, folks, we have seen God do a lot of miracles. I have been taught all my life that God hears and answers prayer. He said, I believe God can control the weather. He said, I'm just going to ask you to pray with me that it will not rain tonight. And it was already raining just at the entrance to the church. It will not rain on this and rain us out tonight. And so he prayed, mostly him. <laughs> in the microphone, and he rebuked the storm. He rebuked the, the, the rain. And since that day, Jason Barnum has been known to be the boy that could pray the rain away. He runs into people to this day that if they were even around Bellevue at that time, they still know him as the boy that can stop the rain. You know, God pours rain, and he controls what we need. You know, Peter said on the day of Pentecost, uh, concerning what was happening, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, people speaking in tongues, the Spirit give the utterance. He said, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. It shall come to pass in the last days. You believe we're in the last days? It looks like it more than it ever has. In the last days, saith God, the last of the last days, here we are. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. If you're here in the flesh today, which we all are, God's Holy Spirit is for you. And he is here to pour out the Holy Ghost on all flesh. All oh, men and women, young and old, hallelujah. If you're breathing and your heart's beating, it's not too late. Be filled with the Holy Ghost today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would you stand with me? Let's praise the Lord. God is a great God. Right now is the time for the Spirit of God to be poured out. Right now is the time for us to lift our voice. And begin to worship the Lord. Send up those vapors. Send up those prayers. Send up those praises. Let the Holy Ghost pour down upon us. Fill up the empty hearts. Refill the hearts that have gone dry. Oh, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Fill up every life and every soul in this place. Sheketahaya. Hila Bahaya. Hallelujah. I feel like I'm going to quit preaching. I feel like God is working. His Spirit is coming down to heal you, sister. His Spirit is coming down to fill you, brother. Sister, God wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're hungry for more of God, you say, I've got no God. I love him. He loves me. But I need more than what I've got. Don't you throw your hands up 
And why don't you say, Lord, I'll take it. Lord, reign in my soul. Lord, fill me with your power and your holy presence. Hallelujah. For God is a great God. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, all that we're able to ask or think. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost upon us. Holy Ghost, let us celebrate with people being filled with the Holy Ghost. Lord, let us celebrate with people being healed in the body. We celebrate, O oh Lord Jesus, your promises. Pour out your spirit, Lord. Don't let one leave without being full and overflowing with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Shekahayah. Uli meyasataha. Woo! Hili heke sayaha. Glory to God in the highest. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we send up the vapor and we look for the rain to fill up every hungry heart. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah! Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. We joyfully praise your name today, Lord. We joyfully lift up your holy name, Jesus. If you feel like it's an appropriate need, why don't you reach and pray for somebody that you feel it's appropriate to pray with? Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Let your will be done. Let many be filled with the Holy Ghost. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let our hearts be open. Lord, let us be renewed. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Touch our lives. Oh, Lord, let the hunger in us override the timid, timid, being timid in us. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your voice and pray, good saints of God. Lift up your voice and pray. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Upon all flesh, Lord, renew. Lord, baptize. Lord, infill. Lord, infuse your word in the name of Jesus. Fulfill your promises. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the... Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Almighty. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, Almighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. Hallelujah. The true and living God the God that's able to do anything that we can imagine even beyond what we could think or ask for. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah to God in the highest. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the touch, Lord. Thank you for the realness of your spirit. Thank you, Lord, Jesus, for making a way. Thank you, Lord, for blessing this church. Thank you, Lord, for providing for this church. Thank you, Lord, for blessing this church with a good pastor and other good ministers. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing this church with good leadership. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the many things that you have done and still are doing those things that we can't yet see, that you're opening doors as we speak in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You're opening doors as we worship. You're opening doors, my God. You're opening doors. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Woo! Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let it flow. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yes, 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 Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, that's it. That's it. Why don't you pray out? If God leads you, go pray for somebody. We have souls right now praying that God would forgive them of sin. People are being filled and refilled with the Holy Ghost, praying for the filling of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, men with men, why don't you go pray for another man? Women with women, why don't you go pray with another sister right now? Huh? Saints of God, can you lift up your voice and travail? Saints of God, can you lift up your voice and travail? Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. Oh, yes, God. Lord God, let there be a downpour today in this place. Uh, we don't need more religion. We need more of God. Uh, God, fill my cup and let it run over. Lord God, fill my cup and let it run over. In the name of Jesus, uh, let the Holy Ghost flow out of our belly like a river of living water. At the name of Jesus, that's it, Sister Lisa. The spirit of intercession is upon you. Release your voice. Release your voice. That's it, Brother BJ. Turn it loose. Yes, mighty God. That's it, Brother Sergio. At the name of Jesus, touch right now, mighty God. Do the work right now, God. Yes, Lord. That's it, Brother Brandon. Release your voice. The spirit of prayer and faith is upon you. Release your voice right now. In the name of Jesus, cry out to God. He is nigh unto those that call upon his name. He is nigh unto those that call upon his name.
Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. I, I wish somebody would join me and just begin to speak the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, break every chain. Liberate every mind, oh God. Let the shackles of bondage fall. Let the scales of spiritual blindness fall off the eyes of people. And let the living water of your spirit flow out of this sanctuary, God, into this community. Let what's in front of us be greater than any thing that's behind us uh, for thy glory Jesus the son of David have mercy that's it sister Ashley that's it sister Leticia begin to pray oh yes Bind together with somebody. Touch and agree with somebody. God's filling this lady back here with the Holy Ghost. God's doing a work today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. If you need to be water baptized in Jesus' name, we can baptize you today. Hallelujah. We can baptize you today. Yes, mighty God, do the work. Do the work. That's it. That's it.
Can we pray just a few more minutes here? Can we press in? Can we press in a bit longer here? In the name of Jesus, I feel like there's a shifting. There's a deepening of the Spirit of God and the flow of God in our church right now. Yeah, God, in the name of Jesus, take us deeper, God. Take us on to the next dimension you have for this church. We celebrate the last 20 years. God, if you tear it, God, we're looking for greater things. More souls to be reached and help for thy glory. More souls to be filled with the Holy Ghost and baptized in your name. That's it, Brother Zachary. The spirit of intercession is upon you. That's it, Sister Haley. Bind together. Join their spirits together. They pray together, God. Jesus. Yeah, break every chain, break every chain. At the name of Jesus. Sister Nashley, there's a spirit of liberty coming down upon you. God's trying to lift a bondage uh, off of your life, a generational bondage uh, that's been passed down upon you in hate. God's trying to liberate you right now from that spirit. Uh, at the name of Jesus, mighty God, uh, break every chain. Uh, break every chain. Yes, God. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. That's it, that's it, Lord God, do the work. Lord God, do the work. The name of Jesus. Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for what you're already doing, Lord God. We go to the gates of hell today and we bind every spirit of bondage in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of addiction, Lord God. Every spirit, Lord God, that is contrary to you. We bind it in Jesus' name. We release freedom, Lord God. We release joy, Lord God. We release peace, Lord God. We thank you for your liberty. We thank you, Lord God, for a deeper walk with you, Lord God. For a boldness, Lord God, that comes, Lord God, only from you, Lord God. We speak life in the name of Jesus. We speak holy boldness in the name of Jesus. Flow, Lord God, as a river of living water, Lord God, out of the bellies of your people, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, every spirit, Lord God, a promiscuity, every spirit of fornication, every spirit of adultery, abide in Jesus' name. I release purity, Lord God. I release life, Lord God. Every spirit of pornography, abide in Jesus' name. And we release purity in the name of Jesus. Lord, I yield to you. I put myself on the altar today, Lord God. And I yield to you, Lord God. For you are my shelter. You are, Lord God, my peace. You are my comfort, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, that I would walk in your liberty, Lord God. That I would walk in your freedom, Lord God. That I would talk in your word, Lord God. That I would understand your word, Lord God. That the purity of my heart, Lord God, would receive, Lord God, and mix with faith. Lord, I 
We bind the spirit of fear. I bind the spirit of fear. I bind the spirit of fear. And I release liberty. Liberty in your word. Liberty in the word. I speak, Lord God, truth. Lord God, I release, Lord God, truth. The revelation, Lord God, of your name, Lord God, that it would flow forth, Lord God, into the lives of these people, Lord God, and that it would be mixed with faith, Lord God, and it would grow in them, Lord God, what you would have for them to be, Lord God. Jesus, Jesus, release, Lord God. Jesus, release, Lord God. Jesus, release, Lord God. Release us from ourselves, Lord God. Release us, Lord God, from the things that would keep us bound in our mind, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we would take up our cross and we would follow after you, Lord God. That you, Lord God, would be our Father, Lord God. And that we would yield to you alone, oh Lord God. And that we would understand, Lord God, that you, Lord God, were manifested in Jesus, Lord God. And your name is Jesus. And there is no other name above your name whereby we must be saved. That there would be a release, Lord God. Release, Lord God. Release our minds from ourselves, Lord God. That we would have on a new mind in Christ Jesus. That we would have on a new mind in Christ Jesus. That we would walk fully in the liberty of your name. That we would walk fully in the liberty of who you are. We speak life. We speak life. We speak life. Jesus, continue the work, Lord God. Continue to stir us up in the spirit, Lord God. Every spirit that is contrary to you, I bind right now. In Jesus' name, Lord God. Every thought that's coming against the church, I bind right now. In Jesus' name. Everything, Lord God, that we've struggled with, every addiction, Lord God, I bind it right now. In Jesus' name. Lord, help us to walk in your liberty. Help us to walk in your freedom. Help us to walk, Lord God, after the Spirit and not by sight, Lord God. Jesus, that we could do your work, that we could do your will, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Continue to stir us up. Lord God, continue, Lord God, to increase the hunger in our hearts, Lord God, and in our minds. In Jesus' name, Lord God, uh, that we can continue to get closer to you, Lord. That we can continue, Lord God, to draw after you, uh, Lord God. Uh, that we, Lord Jesus, would walk, Lord God, with you uh, every single day, Lord God. Uh, in Jesus' name, Lord, thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God. Thank you for the spirit moving, Lord God, in our lives, in the church, Lord God. Help us, Lord, to follow after you will, Lord, in every aspect of our lives, Lord God. To follow the moving of the spirit in the children's department, Lord God. As the kids are in there, Lord Jesus, Lord, let them be sensitive to the Holy 
Holy Ghost uh, and hungry for the Holy Ghost. Uh, Lord God, in the youth department, uh, Lord God, as Sister Donnelly is preaching, uh, Lord, help us to be hungry for you, Lord God, and sensitive to the moving of the Spirit, uh, Lord God, and anything, Lord Jesus, that we're entertaining, uh, Lord, that is contrary to you, uh, Lord, bind it and break it now uh, in Jesus' name, Lord God, uh, and Lord, put inside us uh, liberty and freedom uh, and the Holy Ghost, Lord God, until it overflows, uh, Lord God, and in the hyphen department, uh, Lord God, uh, let us be sensitive and hungry, Lord God, uh, whatever Sister Leticia is preaching, Lord, uh, that we, Lord, would seek after you. In Jesus' name, Lord God, uh, that we wouldn't go through the motions, uh, Lord God, that we wouldn't just fill time, uh, Lord God, that we wouldn't ask questions arbitrarily, Lord, but that we would seek after the Spirit, uh, that we, Lord Jesus, would walk with you uh, every morning, uh, every evening, Lord God, and every night, uh, Lord Jesus, and touch the music department, uh, Lord God, that as we sing, uh, as we play, Lord, our instruments, uh, that it would be as unto the Lord always. Lord, always, Lord, God, praising you and worshiping you. Lord, not concentrating, Lord, God, on, Lord, the performance, Lord, God, but concentrating on the Spirit, concentrating on the flow of the Holy Ghost. Help us to be sensitive to it, Lord, God, each and every time. Lord, God, we sing unto you and we play unto you, Lord, God, that we wouldn't be so, Lord God, wrapped up in following the schedule, Lord God, that we wouldn't stop to pray from time to time. Lord God, help us to have an ear open to you in Jesus' name. Lord God, and touch the outreach department every time that we go out, Lord God, uh, that we would be open and sensitive to the flowing of the Spirit. Uh, Lord God, that we would show people your love uh, and your compassion, but that we would show them, Lord God, uh, the power of the Holy Ghost uh, in praying, Lord God, which is mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, Lord God. Uh, Jesus, that we, Lord, would tell them our testimony, Lord God, that they would see, and in seeing, they would believe, Lord God, Jesus, and touch every other department, Lord God, touch, Lord God, the sound department, Lord God, that they would follow always in your will, Lord, as they're back there, Lord God, that they would feel the Holy Ghost, Lord God, as the Lord working on the board and on the computer, Lord God, that they would feel the Holy Ghost moving. Uh, thank you, Lord God, for everything that you're doing, Lord God. Uh, Jesus, begin waking us up, Lord, in the middle of the night. Lord God, with prayer needs, Lord Jesus, uh, with dreams, Lord God, uh, about what's happening, Lord God, right now in the spirit, uh, Lord God, about people that you want us to pray for, Lord God, begin, Lord Jesus, to show uh, the young men more visions, Lord God. Uh, and the old men more dreams, Lord God. Uh, begin using, Lord, the youth uh, and those who are hungry for you, Lord God, and prophecy more. Lord, as the last day approaches, uh, Lord God, that we would walk uh, after you, Lord God. Uh, that we, Lord God, would follow that great commission in Jesus' name, uh, Lord God. That we, Lord Jesus, wouldn't do it for our will, uh, but that uh, we would do it, Lord God, uh, for your glory glorification and your magnification in the community, Lord God, in our hearts, Lord God, and in our minds, Lord God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to show love to those, Lord God, who've left us and our Lord God seeking to come back as they, Lord God, feel your time drawing nigh, Lord God, and come back to the house of the Lord, that we would show them love and compassion, in Jesus' name, <laughs> hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs>
Touch us, Lord God, uh, every day, Lord God, when we bow our knees to prayer, Lord God, uh, help us, Lord God, to stay with you, uh, Lord God, until the Spirit lifts, Lord God, uh, every time, Lord God, we open our Bibles, uh, help us to stay there, Lord, until we feel the Spirit lift, Lord God, uh, help us to take it, Lord, seriously each and every day, uh, help us to walk, Lord God, in uh, the depths of the Spirit uh, each and every day, Lord, consistently, Lord God, uh, that we, Lord God, would be, uh, Lord, what you want us to be in the last days, uh, Lord God, as the Lord Jesus, the world gets darker, help us to get brighter, Lord God, uh, through prayer, Lord God, and fasting, uh, help me not to neglect fasting, Lord God, uh, but help me, Lord Jesus, help us, Lord God, uh, to do Lord God, your will in Jesus' name to deny the flesh in Jesus. Yes, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, Lord God, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah. Let's keep praying. We ain't going to stop you from praying. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. Oh, mighty God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wonderful presence of the Lord is here. Presence of the Lord is here. I can feel him in the atmosphere. Presence of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I want to share something that I feel in the spirit to say. And you can just maintain a prayerful spirit, but I, I do feel led to say this. So thankful for Bishop and Sister Varnum for coming. Thank you very much. Enjoyed the word of the Lord, the testimony. That's all right. But, but this is what I feel specifically led to say. It popped up on my Facebook feed this morning that I don't remember if it was seven years to the day or seven years when I posted it. But this morning on my seven-year anniversary picture, when you guys was with us last time, seven years ago. I don't know if the service was seven years to the day or I posted it seven years ago exactly to the day. I don't know, but seven years ago, they were with us. Tremendous things that God done. And, and God's spirit is always amazing and glorious in what he does. But it is uniquely different each time, frankly, we pray, come into the presence of God, gather in church and otherwise. Tells us to earnestly covet the best gift, what is needed for that moment, for that unique service. Then, seven years ago, I don't know, I'm sure you will, remember that God had moved in the service in such a way at the end of Bishop preaching, Sister Varnum came up and shared a word and felt like God just wanted to just increase our building fund. And I, I felt like in the midst of that, increase the footprint financially of our church so we can go forward in the kingdom of God, and God done it, and God done it. And, and there were several things that happened after that, but I felt like that day prepared us to sell the building, do some things, and then go forward ultimately to bring us to this. It was like a natural promotion for the church financially, if you will. I, I felt like today, seven years, I guess, to the day, they've come back to join us. I felt like what God has done today in this place as we embark, if God tarries in his coming, Upon the next 20 years, I feel like God has now deepened the spiritual flow of his spirit in our church. This time he has not expanded and enlarged the financial footprint of our church, uh, but he has deepened the flow of his spirit, uh, and he has quickened a greater anointing into the congregation here so that we can do great exploits for his name, uh, and his name can be exalted in word and deed as a result uh, of the elders coming. Uh, why don't you rejoice and receive it What thus saith the word of the Lord? Hallelujah.
And we are just so excited. I have never felt better about where the church is at. Sister Dagan, would you like to greet him one more time? You've prayed, but I think it'd be great if you come greet him. I want to put you on the spot, but preacher's wives are used to being put on the spot. <laughs> you may be seated for just another minute. No, no problem. problem. Call this overtime, but no church tonight. Okay? Amen. The game is won in overtime. Amen. I am so thankful for this church. I am so thankful for each one of you. When I looked at those pictures, some of it was like, wow, to see where some of you have come from, seeing your babies, to see the transformation. You know what? There are some of you that have such a testimony. You can say that God has delivered me from drugs. God has delivered me from alcohol. God has delivered me from a life of sin. But now I'm walking in liberty. I have been released. Amen. I am no longer what I was, but I am a new person in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, yes. I love you. It was beautiful to see. So many of you going down into the, the water and coming up with the armor of light upon you. We talked about in, that in Sunday school today, about having that new, being that new creature and, and newness of, of life and walking as a new creature. The devil, he will come to discourage you. Let's just be real. We just feel that just got real. He will come to discourage you. He will come and try to make you doubt. But you need to get out your picture book. And then you need to get your self-portrait of today. And you need to say, Sister Jackie, I'm not that lady that I was. I don't hear the clank anymore. I'm not living in that tent anymore. But now I have myself a new house. Look at God. Not in you, but in him. We will disappoint and fail ourselves. But he never disappoints. Hey. As long as you keep putting your trust in him, Sister Chantel, hey. he will always deliver. Every day will be a new day of deliverance. Amen. We are overcomers in Christ Jesus. We are better. We are stronger together in him. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Thank you, Sister Dagan. I love her so very much. It can't be said enough, and, and she is my Priscilla, and she is a prophetess and a voice in my life. I'm her husband, but I trust her prayer life and her voice. Hallelujah. It's been so great being here. Sorry, the picnic was Friday. So if you're looking for a picnic, right down the road, they got a Golden's Corral. You can go in there and just, just set the chicken on it. They just jump in, honey. Just jump. What a wonderful time we here had here Friday. I misspoke to Bishop when I told him it was today. Had a great picnic here Friday evening. Wonderful time. Just a score of people was here. We love you. Can you stand with me one more time? It doesn't matter who calls and offers us a church or asks us to come and take over a church or whatever. We would not want to do this journey with anybody else other than the people here right now. And we're so thankful to be in the will of God. Let's praise Jesus one more time. Can we? Lord God, I thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, your love, and your kindness. Go with our friends, God, our church family as we leave this house. And go with Bishop and Sister Barnum, God, as they go north. In Jesus' mighty name. Bless the house of Brocks and give them strength. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Why don't you make a point to go speak to somebody you had not spoke to yet? He that has friends must first show himself friendly. Go show yourself friendly to somebody. Why don't you greet the preacher?